Despite the fact that there's already a base ahead, should be able to take down yet another base without worrying too much about being harassed heavily. Just Volts are so far for Shine walling around. Running around, putting down mines for possible future expansions, try to delay those walls again. Photon cannons now on the way for Hang to possibly to continue preventing harassment from Shine. Just you know, just in case some vultures might try to sneak in somewhere, drops come in at certain locations. The drops for Shine really haven't been very effective, even though we got a couple of vultures inside of the natural again. Got to take out a couple of probes. With this gets snuffed up pretty quickly. Second is similar, and I'm finally going down for Harangi, so he's finally going to start ticking up. Still hasn't gone for any reavers. Ha haven't seen any shuttles from him so far, but he's definitely ready for that. I haven't even seen a robotic support, honestly, so he just went for early observatory because he lost his observer wanted to know exactly what's going on. Now going to take his 2 o'clock position and just adding some supply depots. Vulture still running around, planting mines everywhere. Going to try to catch some Dragoons off base. Going to go in there, spot that the 2 o'clock position has indeed is indeed coming down, so Shine really is desperate. He has to put down a base now, Go do some aggressive action, because the way the game is going, Harang 2 is just going to completely overwhelm him economically. He's going to have a huge army compared. Still of a Dune coming up, so we're going to see some Zealot speed very soon, possibly even going to go up to Templar tech. First tanks are finally out for Shine. Finally get some Shine, some shine tanks, some shiny tanks. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, more factories being added as well. Photon cannons being added everywhere. Should be Harangi should be adding some photon can cannons. Photon cannons. Photon. Photon cannons. Created by you know what's that tele what's that company called that makes the cameras? Starts with a C. Oh well, I forgot. It's not Cameo. I know that. Yeah. Oh well. Maybe it starts with a P. Screw it, screw it, not important. I'm, I'm commenting StarCraft. But yeah, Shine setting up a defensive perimeter just outside of the National Expansion, putting down supply depots alongside bunkers for his Marines. Uh, Temple Archives coming up for Harangi, also adding his 5th and 6th uh, gateways. Some Dragoons moving around, but not going to be able to do anything. There's a huge, huge mine line alongside a lot of siege tanks just outside the National Expansion. Also, an engineering bay in position to float and dropship there, picking up some mulches. So we're going to see if. Some harassment on the way. Also picking up a tank, I believe. So Shen really has to try to go for some harassment. He doesn't want to move out with his forces because if he does, I think Rang 2 or Rangi is going to be able to outmaneuver him and just go for the natural expansion. He's going to go for, going to take out all these dragoons. and going to plop himself down at 3 o'clock position, uh, put down even more mines. Target is on the way though for Harangi, so he's gonna have he's going for rather quick arbiters. The game hasn't been go has just been going on for about 10 minutes now already. Arbiters are going to be on the way fairly soon. So Rangi I d just already has a huge economic advantage, going to have a huge macro advantage, there's a lot more force on the ground, uh, although there are plus one upgrades for Shine, this one single advantage he has. Harangi putting down the second forge, going to get double upgrades, also has the Arbiter Tribunal on the way. Not really upgrading any upgrades from one of his forges though, maybe he forgot he had it there. <laughs> Would have been her less lap, eh? Yeah, getting his second forge, so I assume he's going to go for uh, double upgrades at the same time. Also now an SCV building at the 9 o'clock, a supply depot to help block that off. So he is up, uh, has taken down the uh, 4 o'clock position, the base there, and I was also thinking of taking down the 3 o'clock. And with doing so, he's going to have maneuverability around there. He's going to be able to threaten this 2 o'clock position. That's really what he wants to do. He has three bases mining at this point. How do we even spot it? The 4 o'clock base being put down. Some zealots going to move out, try to gain some forces, but there's a dropship in play, and mines all managed to take them all out. So they're harangue. He wasted a lot of forces now going to move in with reinforcements not going to be able to take the 10 o'clock base because it has mines there first science vessel now out for shine already both players taking up very quickly already a science vessel. not i haven't really seen any huge battles so f so the players haven't really been forced to continuously build forces they could just tech up very quickly both forges now spinning so we're going to see weapons and armor upgrades coming up at the same time again a bunch of zealots running in right into the mines soaking them all up vultures still staying all in one piece. Dragoons coming in for backup though. Vulture doing their best to block. There are a couple of tanks in position. A lot of tanks there alongside a turret. They're probably there to try to spot an observer but the Dragoons are going to move back a little bit because there are tanks that have the ledge and going to be able to stay there and it's going to be really dangerous for the Dragoons to try up and try to fire up on it. A science vessel probably just sitting around until he has time to until he has enough energy to f start firing off EMPs because as soon as arbiters are on the way you're going to want to have those uh, scans are also now out for shine so he's going to have some scanning information again 
plopping down some tanks just inside this tool car position. Also probably going to use the dropship to try to siege the probes at a distance. That's exactly what he's doing. Also not putting down with vultures, putting in a lot of mines. Going to start defending it on the opposite side. Zealots are going to start running again right into these mines. All of them really to get taken out. Observer also gets taken out in the air. I'm not quite sure if he has another one. High Templar on the way though. High Templar really going to be able to help out. Ze Zealots do manage to spend it. All oh, the High Templar go down. That's critical. Some of the Zealots do penetrate and do take out one of the tanks but die before we can do too much. One tank took out both High Templar in one shot. Oh, that's cr that was critical there. If those High Templar had gotten close enough, they would have been able to storm the rest of the tanks and the 9 o'clock position would have been broken. Harangi would have actually been able to go up that ramp, but no, Shine does a pretty good job of holding so far. Harangi putting down a base at the 10 o'clock and Shine has this red. He's going to try to get penetrated with some vultures, planting some mines around, trying to catch some forces, trying to reinforce. No block there. Tanks also positioned from a dropship. So he's going to try to harass this, but there are cannons in place, and the forces of Harangi moving in very close. Not enough forces there for Shine to really do anything, but he knows this location is there. And I was going to see if he tries to make Harangi split his forces or try to force him into different locations. First Arbiter now out for Harangi, so we, we might be seeing some recalls. Or he might just use them for regular purposes using stasis against all those tanks. Now we're going to see the first person view of Shine here. He's going to plop the 9 o'clock position. Just now putting down the command center. I thought he would have had that base up yet already at this point. But he just has three mining, full mining bases with gas at this point. Now getting his fourth. Well, Harang, Harangi is now getting his... Harangi, Harangi is getting his fifth base. But I think his mineral only is, you know, it mines up pretty quickly, but there is a little bit of extra minerals that really do help at one point. Now the first person view of Harangi as he tries to spot the amount of forces now moving in with a rather large number. Again, going to try to go for this 9 o'clock. Has a lot of high Templar to help him support this. A lot of Jagoon Zealots going to move up. Not enough Vulture in place. The Vulture just now moving in. Might be a little bit late, but no, the Zealots are going to be forced back. Harangi not going to risk it. Ooh, one scan going off. Another scan going off, so the tank's going to take it. Rage! Oh, the Templar get picked off by Vultures. Vulture instantly come down the right. Instantly some plant minings. Ever plant minings. Plant minings? What the hell? Plant mines! Plant mining. There's a plant mining here. There's a lot of that going on here. It's a very important operation. But Shine does a pretty good job overall of holding the uh, 3 o'clock position. Still only on four bases. But feels pretty equal all in all because Harangi, one of his bases, only a mineral only that will venture out. Still, Shine has a rather lar large number of forces, has a lot of vultures down the field, and now moving up on the left side, we're going to see how Harangi tries to wreck this. Second Stargate coming up for him. Gets scanned though, so Arbiter's on the way, and Shine is knowing this. He has putting down turrets everywhere because he knows he's going to need those to help him against those Arbiter's. Still not seeing any Arbiter's out in the field though, so we're going to see whether Harangi tries to use for to simply. Help his army or try to go for Rugo. Second Arbiter now also out in the air. First Arbiter going to go out with full energy. So yeah, Harangi just waiting with his Arbiter inside of his base until it has energy. Apparently go thinking of going for recall because I saw a lot of his forces clumped up. Now the Arbiter is going to go for it. And trying to move into our Goliath's base but not in time. Goliath's like it caught. Recall coming off. Yeah, the recall does manage. Turrets to not kill the Arbiter in time. Pretty good recall there by Harangi. He has a rather large number of force. A lot of zealots, a lot of dragoons coming in here. These SCVs are all doomed. A couple of science houses in location. Trying to spot just one of them getting picked out by dragoons. Tanks and vultures moving in to try to defend. Also trying to hold the ramp because really does not want to <laughs> let Harangi move up the whole ramp. A lot of SCVs also blocking that off. On the opposite side now the at the... Uh, 8 o'clock location, I'm sorry, at 8 o'clock location, also a lot of force moving, so Harangi has a lot of army to spare, actually trying to take out all position here, so so oh, shine, 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 you poor guy, oh man, he's had, had such a good positioning, but now that one recall which he could have prevented, which he was so close from preventing, coming in and taking him out, the command center being floated up, finally now cleaning it up with all of his vultures and tanks, but lost a lot of his CVs, lost a lot of mining time, now it's still a rather large number of Dragoons knocking on the 5 o'clock, there is no base there, but you know, they managed to 